Hi guys, welcome back to Turnix Corner. My name is Terry, and today we're going to be discussing feeders and how to eliminate food waste. Uh, the three different types of feeders that I've tried, I've tried pretty much every kind out there. Uh, the shoebox style feeder, which is a fairly decent feeder. The only problem with it is you have to open the cages every time to fill the feeder. And I'm trying to eliminate wasting time. Uh, this one does do a halfway decent job of eliminating waste. Uh, but like I say, you do have to open up the cage to fill the feeder. And that's just not going to work with me. The second type that I've been using is an, a gutter feeder, which is outside the cage. Um, it's fairly easy to feed, but I do notice that the quail can kick the food out of the feeder. And it does make it a little bit tricky. Sometimes you have to lift this up to retrieve the eggs out. Um, the feeder that I'm happy with so far is the J feeder. It's an outside the cage feeder. Uh, with a few modifications, you can make this feeder work fairly decent. Um, so today we're gonna show you how to modify the J feeder, where you can get them at a relatively decent price and install them on your quail cages. Okay guys, the feeder I'm gonna be using is an 11 and a half inch uh, J feeder that I purchased from Stromberg's. Um, the website lists these feeders at $5.50 each, but if you buy 10 or more, you get them for five bucks a piece. So I'm pretty happy with these feeders. They got a halfway decent build quality. Uh, looks like they're mainly pop riveted together. They're not welded, but uh, the bends are clean and it is galvanized metal, so we shouldn't have any issues with rust. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some one by two inch hardware cloth and we are going to fasten it over the feeder and uh, that will keep the birds from kicking the food side to side. What they do is they stick their head inside that uh, feeder here and it's hard for them to kick it back and forth so it does really eliminate a lot of the waste. So first thing you got to do is we are going to measure, and I've already got pre-measured here, the width. Uh, it's 11 and a half inches. You can count one, two, let's see. It's 11 and a half inches, so you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And I don't know where they're getting the half from. I guess it's just the outside dimensions. So it's 11 on the inside. So what you're going to do is measure in 11 inches and then cut. Come up one more and cut. And then on these going across this way, you don't want to cut them up tight. You want to cut them down here. And I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, so now we've got our piece cut that will fit inside the trough. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually turn this thing around so these long uh, pieces here will point towards the feeder. But first what we got to do is eliminate all but three of these. So we'll we'll come in one from the end and we'll come in say probably five inches and skip one and then cut the remainders remainders out. So what this will do we're gonna drill some holes here and these will slide inside them holes and that'll give it a way to hold up tight against the back of the feeder. Okay, so see if I can do this backwards. Uh, you can lay it like that or you can just flip it over. That'll get you a little bit closer. Take you a Sharpie and mark right about where these pieces come through. Okay, now we've got to drill the holes out. I uh, started out with an eighth inch pilot bit, and I don't know if you can see, but right on this edge of the feeder, you can see there's a, a crease, a bend, where that kind of bends that lip up under to keep the feed from coming out so fast. We're going to try to get as close to that as we can, and I'll show you why we do that when we uh, install it in the cage.
Okay. Now what you can do is just take this piece that we cut, line it up with our holes, and what you want to do is insert them into the holes, and then from the back side, you can see them in there, you can just reach in and bend them up. But first what I want to do, I just want to make sure it fit. I want to go through there and I want to grind all these little nubs off so that uh, it'll sit a little bit closer to the uh, back of the J feeder. So let's go ahead and get those cleaned up. Okay. That's nice and clean. That way you can see that. So what we'll do is we will stick them into the feeder. And you can see it, it almost lays there perfect where you don't even have to do anything. But what I do is I put a zip tie right here on the front. So I'm going to drill me a hole on this edge here. And we'll run a zip tie in there. That'll hold the front down. If I ever need to clean the feeder out, I can just pop that zip tie. And then you can just lift this up and get in there, do what you got to do, and uh, then put it all back together. Okay, so let me go ahead and drill a pilot hole for the zip tie. Okay, then we'll run a zip tie through here. And that's zip tied down. And the last thing we do before we install it is we reach in there and we bend. See, you can see those. We bend these little tabs up. By bending them up, you will still be able to cut the zip tie and lift this tray up because the, the bends are up, so they're going to fold down inside the feeder when you go to head go ahead and uh, lift it up for clean out okay so let's go ahead and we got that installed we'll go ahead and head over to the cages we'll take out one of the trough feeders and we'll cut and install the J feeder and we'll show you how that works okay what we did was we, we cut out the notch we we measured for our J feeder we cut out the wiring two inches high which is just one of these wires here and then 11, 11 and a half inches wide. Um, these J feeders have little clips right here. I don't know how well you can see them. That's what latches them onto the cage. So you just lift them up, stick your feeder in, and snap down these wires, and the feeder is held tight. Okay, the thing I like about these J feeders is they're outside the cage. But with this slant here, I can collect my eggs now without having to lift up the, the trough type feeder that I had before. So this is going to be really nice for me. Okay, it's coming, guys. Here's your food. And they'll, they'll learn to stick their head down through the wire just like they did as they were reaching outside the cage. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Um, Another thing that I like about these J feeders, and I don't have a card with me right now, is these things have a lip here on the top and a lip here on the bottom. You can slide a card in here, like an index card, or you can actually cut a piece of uh, eight and a half by 11 paper to fit. Slide that in there. All your information on that cage can be written on that card. Uh, cage number, uh, number of hens, number of roosters. So that's really handy. That's another reason I like them. And I'm going to these t these style feeders on all my cages throughout the uh, throughout the quail room here. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, our next video coming up, we're going to be working with incubators. Um, I don't know how many people have seen the styrofoam incubator that I built. It's not a styrofoam cooler. It's a foam board incubator, uh, forced air, and... Uh, it's really nice. I've been using it for a year now and haven't had a problem with it. It's been running round the clock for one year. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build another one and that will be my hatcher. And that way I'll have a 240 egg incubator 
and a hatcher that I can hatch out all those eggs while I start another batch. So thanks for joining us, guys. Um, if you enjoyed this video, hey, please subscribe. I've got a lot more content coming up, and I'd really like you guys to, uh, to be part of it. Um, hit the bell. That'll get you a notification of when the new videos come out. And, uh, yeah, we've got some really neat stuff coming up. We've got a road trip coming up, and I'm, I'm trying to make arrangements to visit a commercial quail farm. And I would really like to, if I, if I get permission to go in there and, and film it, um, that, that's going to be one of our upcoming videos. So stick with us, guys. Uh, the channel will fill up quickly. I promise you that. Have a good day.